Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Surabhi and this is a busy book for my 7 year old which has some numbers, some imaginative writing, basically the writing which doesn't have any correct or wrong answer. I'll tell you what about it and some spelling practice. Uh, fun way of practicing. Uh, so here it is a maths question which is really advanced for her but yeah that's my teaching moment. I'll explain to her how to add. So each monkey at zoo eats 6 bananas every day and there's 7 monkeys. So basically 42 bananas every day so my girl doesn't know tables but she does multiple addition and then how many bananas will be need for one day two day four days so 42 plus 42 84 84 plus uh, like uh, it twice of 84 she has let's see if she can add it and then seven times so if I don't think she can do these things but I'll still help her to you know think big number addition in a way so that's the plan here now this is uh, what I was talking about complete with imagination in the sense um, I have just written three words the big box empty dot she has to complete the sentence there is no limitation on any word any idea anything she want to write even a one word two words anything so the big box dash dash found a small box dash dash inside the box the penguin dash I was surprised so yes these words sentences are not even interconnected she doesn't need to make a story just complete the sentences because we don't do any writing as such like you know story writing or creative writing so i just thought let's let's do a simple try like is she capable of that's just my idea like what does she think can she do these kind of things that's the idea um you can say this is spelling based question but it's had some critical thinking involved or like um some knowledge kind of thing involved in the sense you have to find the word as for the clues and spell them and all these words have M O N S common in the sense expensive gem diamond first she has to think what gem I'm talking about so it's diamond can she do the spelling popular board game monopoly rare or unusual uncommon scary creature monster 12 in a year months type of nut almond Japanese rope kimono coins and bills money and yellow fruit lemon so even if she's not able to answer the question I'll help her but yeah spelling one she has to finish that is what uh, my aim is and I'll see which words she gets stuck in so that is the idea here uh, this is the last question in which uh, we are using the concepts of maths only but uh, just a little advanced in the sense like I have to find the number the number is a multiple of five so because she knows skip coding by 5 so 5 10 15 20 25 it is a two digit number ending in 5 so it, it is not uh, 10 or 20 it's 5 and this one and then it is less than 25 so obviously it is uh, 15 so that is what she has to figure out the answer uh, the number is greater than 10 and less than 18 the number is sum of two identical odd numbers so she has to write first numbers 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 uh, 17 only and then she needs sum of two identical odd numbers so it will be 7 plus 7 14 so 5 5 plus 10 so basically you have to write first all the odd numbers and then add them and see which two numbers uh, odd number addition will uh, give a even uh, obviously given number but a number between 10 and 18 so it is a lot of processing involved question is simple but for a seven years a lot of processing is there so i will help her out and see how does she uh, approach this kind of questions so that's all a simple busy book for my seven year old hope you enjoyed it bye bye